Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Um, this is Michelle. No need to adjust your volume. Um, I'm going to be doing a farm tour of my farm here on Stardew Valley. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of what I have. What I've done. Sorry, it's like 7 in the morning. Usually I'm not up this early, but I couldn't sleep, so I figured to use it to the best of my ability. But I'm going to show you guys what I have, what I've done, and how far I've come on this channel. I mean, on this farm. Now, we do have farm, farm Dew Valley, Stardew Valley, as well on the PS4. However, this is the PC version, um, because I can play this while Nick's playing Terraria and you know, there's no issues. So as you can see from my screen, I ha do have one child. He's right here. Um, and I think I'm currently pregnant. He asked me if I want to have a baby the other night, and I said yes. So, um, And the way the Stardew Valley works is that if you have a male child, which this one is a male, you're going to have a female. The next one, you'll, you always get one of each. So that's good. And then here we have... Statue of Fortune, I think it's called. Nick knows the names of things better than I do, but I got this because I took a sweet gym berry to the Statue of the Forbidden Forest. And this basically gives you Iridium Ore every day, so I don't really have to go to the mines for much. I do occasionally go because I need coal, or I need coal. Coal. Iron and copper ore for like bombs and stuff. I'll just go ahead and pick that up. So this is my house. This is the bedroom. This is my husband's area. Cause when you marry somebody on Stardew Valley, you you always get an extra room that's for them. This is his room. That's our child. Oops. Um, sweet child. These are all the kegs I have right now. I have to get more iron ore, I think it is. These are my ancient fruits. This is all I put. Sorry. This is all I put in my kegs to um, make wine because it's worth more. And these are my wines that I'm waiting to age, which I'll show you that in a second. This is my kitchen. This is the floor that I've put down. Uh, living room area. Child's area. And then down here we have all of my, um, there's cheeses and wines in here right now because I don't have enough wines to fill all the kegs. So I was putting goat and cow cheese in there. This is my husband. I ended up marrying Harvey this time. I have my honey here, my horse stable, mail. Down here, I I know they can get through here. It's just mo the fence is mostly for aesthetics. Oh, sorry, I keep yawning. I have a, a void chicken, a blue chicken who's behind me, three ducks, a dinosaur, a white chicken, another white chicken, and a rabbit. I have all of these little um, poles around everywhere. Those are what you. They get struck by lightning and you get your battery packs out of. These are my three furnaces. And then what I've basically done is I've put, like, this all basically, pretty much, not everything, goes in the furnace. Or it's a gem. So, this is actually a gift for somebody. That's why it's still in there, but... So I have all this stuff. I usually try to keep my stuff, unless it's an ore. Like these, I usually try to keep them all in at least five. Like I could sell three of these. And these I try to keep at ten. So that I don't get overrun with stuff. But like the bars and the ores. Oh, the refined cords I can sell four. And the battery packs, I just keep whatever I have because I'm going to use them. So I'm not, like, that worried about it. And then, okay, so I set this chest down before I put my stable up. This is just gardening stuff. Seeds and things like that. These seeds I probably won't use anymore because I have the greenhouse now. But I'll show you all that in a minute. And then, you know, the common mailbox. I got a fish today. That Linus. 
And then over here is my one Crystallarium. As you can see, I have more of the um, lightning rods. And my farm is the river like style one because when you first start your farm and i am going to be doing a video of me like actually starting up a farm and show you guys like how you go about starting a farm um naming it and all that good stuff because i do want to do a video on cheats there are cheats but i don't want to use it in this playthrough because this is my first like 100 percent on my own like official playthrough and i don't want to mess this farm up with cheats so I'm not sure what these statues are for yet. I'm sure when I look it up, I'll figure it out. These is what you make mayonnaise out of. And um, you make mayonnaise by putting eggs in there. I'm literally yawning so much my eyes are watering and I don't know why. Anyway. And then next to that, right over here is the... Whoops. Is the... Um, the jelly. You put like a fruit in here and you get out jam. Or you put like... A potato in here and you get out pickled whatever and then these are okay these chests you'll see the different colors let me pick this stuff up i'm sorry because i know you guys can't see that well but it's basically it's colored by the color of the item inside matches the color on the outside i'm like big about like organizing so like all this is brown and they don't have a brown really so i pick like this kind of like mauvey red color or burgundy and then this is all purple stuff or blue but like i get like when i go in and i'm like okay i know the blueberries are in the purple one you get what i'm saying so yeah so we have all those and then in here's mostly green you have your bok choy you have your kale you have your green beans you have your hops when i get you know put this in the kegs and i get out beer uh, which i haven't done yet because i want to have a separate keg for that like my experimental keg you know and this is mostly white and this also has like the milk because the cheese thing is right in front of it so i want to make sure like i have it right there so that it's very easy to just okay go to the you know go to the equal sign and then put it in and it's like not like i'm running halfway across the farm every time this is all red or like I'm sorry or like corally colored stuff this is all yellow um, you've got your horseradish your flowers your wheat your sunflower all my different types of honey I try to keep five of everything and then I use it and then as it goes then I'll get more but like I don't try and keep like 20 of the only thing that i keep a lot of is things i can make really good stuff out of like the hops i can make beer which pretty much everybody in the stardew valley likes except for like sebastian and penny they don't like it but like the rest of them do and then with the honey this is like you can see like there's like five different kinds of honey but i learned a few things about the honey where how you can make different flavors honey so it's all a different flavor of honey so that's why there's so many and then the hay, actually, I'm going to take and put it in my hay. But, yeah, so this is, like, basically yellow and orange is in here. And then this one is just, like, my, like, when you get wood, when you get a bunch of pine cones, when you get sap, when you get fiber and stuff like that. Um, I put it all in this one. Um, and the Jojo Cola, because I know that sometimes on the bulletin board, somebody asks for one. I try to, like I said, I try to keep at least five of everything, because that way, if somebody asks for one, I, like, have it. And you can get that achievement. Um, I do have a bunch of achievements that I will go through in another video for you guys. This is basically to show you guys my setup, so you know what I'm working with. So when we do this again, then it'll be like, oh, you already know what's going on. You know what I mean? So that's these chests. And then I'll show you what machines I have. So like I said, I have the pickler slash jelly maker. All of my four mayonnaise, which actually, because I did choose artisan in this one, the mayonnaise makes your money. So that's why I did it. Um, the loom, which is where you put the wool that makes cloth. This is a worm uh, bin, which at first I was like, why would I want this? But then like, if you guys look, 
I have so much bait. I have 440 bait, and I do have some different kinds of... Actually, I can put this one on there, too. 445 bait, and I do have some different kinds of hooks I can put on there, and you can make hooks. But I'm going to go through all that in another video. Um, this is to make truffle, because I do have a pig, which I'll show you guys in a minute. Two cheese ones, but I think I'm probably going to make two more, because I... Well... I don't know if I'm going to make more cheese ones or maybe just move my jam one down here. But And these are seed makers, which I really don't need anymore, but I keep them around anyway. These are my, like, this one is, like, my magnet bait and then my totem that will take you to the beach. Sorry, the cat just got in his crinkle sock. It scared me. And then my old rod. But this will, like, warp you to the beach, but then you have to get back. And I'm just, like, not about that life, so I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. This one's all my ancient fruit, my star fruit, which I can actually move to the other one and into the house. But this is just like the midway between the house and where I'm actually growing my ancient fruit. So that's why it's here. And then this one, oops, sorry. Gotta move over here. This was all my fish. Now, I did have three, or no, I had one of each type of fish in each type of star quality. So I had a regular, like, let's take, I don't know, this one, the rainbow trout. I had a regular rainbow trout, I had a silver rainbow trout, and I had a gold rainbow trout. And I kept them, but it was, like, so much that first I, like, was like, okay, I'm just gonna sell all my regular. And then I was like, okay, I'm gonna, like, sell some of my star quality and make sashimi out of the rest of the star quality. And then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna keep, like, the gold ones because... Beyond that, I'm like, there's just too much in here. So, that's what these three are for. And then these are my scarecrows, which I don't really need right now. More star things. And then you do have this cave. And I think it takes, like, a while. I don't know how many... F I think you might have to be at a certain number of friend points with Demetrius. Or he just comes at a certain point in the game. But you, he, he asked you if you want a mushroom cave or a fruit cave. And on my PS4 save through, I picked the fruit cave. But on this one, I picked the mushroom cave. So you do have the mushrooms here that you can grab them and use them for recipes or whatever. This is my greenhouse and this is my goat. He's usually not here, but this is my greenhouse. And this you get when you finish certain bundles in the community center but i'm gonna go through like the rest of the town the community center all that stuff in another video like this is gonna be a little bit of a series so in here you can see i'm waiting for all of them to get good at the same time so that they'll be, all be on the same time schedule but i have nothing but ancient fruit in here and then i have every type of tree as you can see the three fruits on each tree so we have on this side over here on the on my left we have pomegranate peach Oh, is that peach or apricot? Either peach or apricot. I think it's peach. Cherry. And then on the right, I'm going to try and move over so you guys can I can't see it. Okay, that's a little bit better. We have apple. That's peach. The other one was apricot. Peach and oranges. And you just shake them. Like, go up to them and right click and the fruit comes off. But I don't really need it right now, so I'm just kind of leaving it there for aesthetics. And then, oh, I did miss a spot. Oh, well. And then this one, I have one of each type of the tree that you would see outside of the... And then I have iridium sprinklers in here because that's just easier. I don't have to worry about watering any of this. It all gets watered for me. I thought this was cool. It kind of looks like a cross. I did not do that, by the way. Those are just naturally... And then this is my barn. As you guys saw, I have the coop. And I do have some tappers on here. I'm going to be taking these off and putting them on those trees that were in my um, greenhouse. Because then everything is just a one spot that I can just go to. So this is my... Oh, everybody's inside already. Oh, because it's 6.30 at night. That's why. <laughs> um, this is, is an automatic feeding place. So I have my sheep. I have my pig. Pig's name is Bacon. I have uh, two goats. One of the goats actually I didn't even pay for. It was born here. Uh, the every I'm not asking it. I know it is, but I just want to pet it. Okay, fine. I have the two goats, and I have the two cows, and I have the sheep and the pig. 
I'm thinking about getting one more sheep and one more pig just to have consistency. But I have to wait to do that. I'll do that in a different video. So I'm going to take these tappers off, actually, while I'm right here. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> and I did make these walk... This is a truffle. I don't know if you But I did make these walkways just so it's easier for me to find my way to things. And then I have another tapper down here. And I do... I usually have all this cleaned out of rocking, but I didn't do it this playthrough yet. There we go. So now I have three tappers. I'll go and put those. And then this is my silo. See? <sniffs> Sorry. My nose is screwing up. So I'm actually going to go through and sell some stuff really quick. <laughs> so many bodily functions today. So, this is how you sell things. You walk straight up to this bin. I'm going to sell this and this and this and these because I don't need these. The diamond I'm keeping. This is my food. I'm keeping that. And then I'm going to go over. I'm sorry, guys. And I'm going to collect and take that off. I'm going to go put my tappers. I'm going to have an extra one. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. To these trees. Can you not do them ones that are not? Oh, you can. I guess maybe this one you can't even put one on it. Oh, there you go. There we go. See? So not everything's going to be in here when it's ready to go. So that's the dream, right? Is to have everything easily accessible. So I think that's it for my farm. Um, if you guys like this video, please make sure you hit like because it really, really does help. And it lets me know what kind of videos you guys like watching us make. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure. Actually, let's see how much I made tonight today because I really didn't do that much actual work. I don't think I even picked up the eggs. So actually, I'm going to sell that stuff. If you guys haven't done so already, um, make sure you like and comment. And just so you guys know, we do have a Twitch as well where we do the live shows. If you would ever like to come, say hey, check out, you know, ask us any questions, and just basically be social, um, we do appreciate that. Like, we love talking to you guys. We love answering questions or whatever you need us to do. Thank you guys again for watching. Let's see how much money I made. And then I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Oh, I didn't show you guys. This is basically all my cooked food. And for some reason my lamps. And this is, like I said, the other stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put this in there. Alright, let's see. So we made $3,000 doing basically nothing today. So that's what I'm saying. Like when you have the artisan of a profession, which all, you can't pick it to level 10, but when you have it, like you make money just sitting there doing nothing basically. Like I didn't even leave the farm. Like I didn't go to the nothing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.